Sunday. Sunday. Sleep till Christmas. Basically, like split our company from Bowie. We love free chocolate. Quickly touch base on my dietary choices. Standy. <laughs> might impact them for Christmas Eve. This is your birthday. So we are currently living in a different home. What's this? That's not a digger. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I have not been picking up the vlog camera lately. I feel a bit slack and I feel like a little life update is overdue. So we are currently living in a different home. I haven't shared any of this on YouTube. I'm gonna have a quick look back at my last vlog that I would have shared. Alright, so it was a week in my work life and that was about six weeks ago. So that is a little while now. And we have since moved, as you can probably tell. So I thought I'd share a little bit of a life update on what we're up to currently and what our plans are looking like. It is December right now, so we are, how many sleeps till Santa? Four sleeps till Santa. So he's coming very soon. So we've been doing a lot of festive stuff with the kids. But most of all, the biggest update would probably be that you're looking at where I am and it's not our home we are in. And it's also not our new home that we are building. So we've been living in my sister's apartment here for about, three or four weeks now. We were planning to move into our new home about, the original plan was about 10 days ago, but we had some delays on the house. We had to change the flooring in one of the main living areas and just threw everything back. And now all the trades are on Christmas break until early in the new year. I think around the 8th of January they come back. So they've got to come back to work and then they've still got like a couple of weeks of things to finish off. In the meantime, we are currently living in my sister's apartment. It is a two bedroom apartment with a dog and two kids, which is not ideal, but kind of also a little bit of a novelty for now. We've never lived in an apartment. The kids are sharing a room, so they have adapted really, really well. The only like tricky thing is with a dog, because you always have to constantly remind yourself to take them out for toileting. She's so good though, like she's so well trained. We just got to be really onto taking her with us places. We're also across the road from the beach, which is pretty amazing living here through summer because it's great to take the kids over. But then there's just all those annoying things about living in an apartment, like one car park, having to use an elevator to get up and down, no yard for the kids or the dog, feeling on top of each other because it's quite a small space. And then because this is my sister's furnished apartment, we're like trying not to get anything dirty or wrecked. There's carpet below the dining table, which is, you know, it's not a fun time with kids. It makes things quite challenging, but we're adapting and it's working. We're having Christmas here and the new year here, and then we should be off and moving early into the new year. But it kind of also doesn't really feel like Christmas. I think because we're not in our own home, like I'm struggling to feel Christmassy, even though Christmas is so close. And I think it's because we're not really hosting this year, which we usually host, but we're going to have Christmas Eve with Alex's family, Christmas day, it'll just be like us plus Alex's mom. So my family's not visiting and it just doesn't feel like Christmas time to me, which is weird because I love Christmas. It's probably also because I don't like my tree this year. I'm gonna show you guys. You can be honest and tell me what you think. This is my tree. We have a real Christmas tree this year. This is the first time I've done a real Christmas tree. And I am gonna say it. I'm gonna show you actually. I think we got a bit of a dud one. It's already dying. The decorations all fall off, so I've just resorted to tinsel and ribbons, which Alex said it's quite ugly, but anyway. Um, it's all starting to droop and go brown inside, and we've been filling it with water and giving it sugar as well, but it doesn't really seem to be helping. I have had people message me saying that all the Christmas trees on the Gold Coast this year are a bit like dud, like they're all like dead, and they reckon it's a bad batch. We didn't chop the stem when we put it into the stands so maybe that's why but i'm i'm just here to tell you all that i think real christmas trees kind of suck and yeah i'm all about a good quality fake one because it'll last forever well at least like last like a decade so you can get good use from it and you don't have to deal with all this stuff so i take great pride in my tree most years this year it's not my finest work, um, but I'll put up a video of my trees. Like last year was my favorite tree. It was very festive. 
but that tree is too big for this apartment so it is sitting in storage for next year when we're in our new house but yeah maybe because like my plans for christmas totally changed when we realized we weren't going to be moving in this year I feel like maybe that's why I'm not feeling in the festive spirit. It's also probably good because I think if we moved in and we were hosting, probably would have been quite stressful, even though I probably would have been very excited about it and just loved it anyway. But we'll save it for next year when we've been in there almost a year. So we'll be settled and we'll have furniture and yeah, probably take some time off over Christmas so we can host and really get into the festive spirit. Um, at work, we are not really taking a break. So I'm not having any holidays over December, January. Um, we'll like obviously have like the public holidays and stuff off and have a few extra days like going to the beach and doing some family stuff like that. But we don't have any plans to go away or like take a proper break because we took our break and went to Europe in September instead. So another little life update next year we are hoping to start a new company not really start a new company but basically like split our company i want to branch our clothing off onto its own brand and then keep the wholesome store running as the wholesome store and i want to hire a product developer designer Someone that can basically, like our clothing designer, we've got Brooke, our clothing designer. She's going to be going on maternity leave, so we are finding a mat leave cover for her. But I want to find someone who is like a product designer and can like come up with some really cool, fun product designs and ideas. And we can start sampling and developing new products in like a different category, like homewares, the accessory sort of category. So we can build that up. But yeah, with the clothing, I think... I don't know when it will happen, but I am planning to separate it into its own thing. Let me know what you think about that idea. It's been like playing on my mind. We rebranded the Wholesome Store earlier this year, all oh, about mid midway through the year, I think. We did a whole new brand, new logo, new website, new brand colors. Basically just like refreshed our brand. It was well overdue and I'm so happy with the job. That was done and I think it looks really, really great. I have been like feeling for the last 12 months that I wanted our clothing because it's kind of like our main thing at the moment. It's where we're dropping the most new products, new collections, designing and developing. And it is like our strongest selling category at the moment because we're just bringing out new stuff all the time. I feel like that's really strong for us, but I feel like it needs its own brand identity. I feel like the Wholesome Store as a like brand identity works really well as like that one-stop shop that you come to and you can get all sorts of things. We wholesale a bunch of beautiful brands. We make a bunch of our own beautiful stuff and we have like a range of categories. But in terms of like our clothing, I feel like it needs to sit on its own as its own website, its own brand name and its own like social channels. And that's what I've been like dwelling on for the last like six to 12 months. And I feel like next year is a good time to hit the new year and do that. I don't know how, when, that's what I'm thinking. I'd love to hear your input if you think this is a good idea and what you think about that idea. We'd probably still wholesale the new brand. We'd probably still wholesale it to the Wholesome Store because obviously we've built up that business um, and it's a strong business, has good customer base. We've got good like Google ranking. We've got good site visits, email marketing, all that. Strong social profile. So that's well established. So it would make sense to piggyback off it for a while. That's where I'm at with that business wise. I also need to start looking for the product developer. I know it exists. It's definitely a area of design that would exist. It's just finding the right person. I bought Odie a Christmas present from the pet shop and this was just in the bag. We love Hikari. That means I think it's a type of dog, but yeah, it's just sitting here because Bowie likes it. I thought also in this life update, I would quickly touch base on my dietary choices because I don't know if I've like spoken about it regularly because I don't feel the need to speak about it regularly, but I do get a lot of DMs about it on Instagram whenever I, I don't know, take a photo of what I'm eating or share a dish that I've cooked or something. So I thought I'd do like a little bit of an update on this as well. So I obviously my channel and my cookbooks and my page, I developed three cookbooks 
all vegan cookbooks, like vegan recipes, and I followed a vegan diet or plant-based. I don't think you can necessarily call yourself a vegan if you are no longer following a vegan diet, but I followed a vegan diet for about four or five years, probably a little bit longer than that, maybe five, six years, developed three cookbooks, and then since having kids about three and a half to four years ago, I started to integrate some more vegetarian foods into my diet, so eggs and dairy. And then in the last maybe one to two years, I've started integrating little bits of seafood here and there. And now I'm at a point that I basically just eat plant-based, vegetarian, pescatarian. So I guess you'd call that pescatarian because pescatarian means you eat seafood plus vegetarian, right? And that's just been a personal choice. When I started following a vegan diet, back when I was in university, I was definitely struggling with an eating disorder. Um, I had what is called orthorexia. So it was like an obsession with eating healthy and controlling my, what I ate, exercising, and just like really fixating on eating healthy. And I think that made me gravitate towards eating vegan foods because it was like so easy to restrict things and avoid things if they weren't vegan. Um, and it was just a form of dietary control. At the time I was studying nutrition and dietetics, so I think I was just very hyper-focused on health and it became like obsessive and unhealthy. I was definitely underweight. I was definitely consumed by food and dieting and restricting. It wasn't a healthy place mentally. Now I've come out of the other end, I can really reflect on how unhealthy it was and I'm really like I'm confidently happy like proud and happy of where I'm currently at with my relationship with food and when I say this I always get messages from people asking like can you share how and it's really hard to like summarize how because it's happened over the course of years I didn't just like flick for me and I was healed from an eating disorder and I still do see things creeping in but I just know to acknowledge those things and like nip them in the butt push them away and I've gotten quite good at not slipping into those habits anymore. So I think a big part of my healing journey was pregnancy, just like this appreciation for my body. It was also when I decided to release some control on what I ate when I started eating vegetarian. It was like I felt a shift, like this control and restriction. It's like I was punishing myself by restricting myself from these foods. And when I sort of decided I would start having these foods again when I was pregnant because I was craving them, it was like, something lifted off me like I wasn't controlling myself anymore and I've continued to do that with seafood and things and it's just made me enjoy food more because I'm not overthinking it and controlling it and yeah I just think mentally it's helped a lot with my journey by not having strong dietary restrictions and you're probably thinking well isn't pescatarian still dietary restriction and it is but so much less like if I wanted to eat meat maybe I would but I've never really been a big meat eater so it's not like I'm restricting myself from eating meat and feeling like deprived and like I'm restricting myself because I feel like there's so many other things I can eat now and it just feels different for me. And who knows, maybe things will change down the line. I don't know what the future holds. If you asked me a few years ago, I would have thought I would never have not eaten vegan. So things change, people change. But yeah, I thought I'd share that. It makes me, like I feel guilty and bad because I do have these wonderful cookbooks with amazing vegan recipes. And I feel like I don't want it to reflect that veganism necessarily goes hand in hand with eating disorders. It's just personally for me. I still love eating plant-based dishes. I still love cooking them. For me personally, I think I was just so fixated on controlling my diet that it wasn't healthy for me. But I definitely think there is still a place for it in my diet and my cookbooks still have a strong place because they are good recipes and I stand by that. It was just personally what was going on for me internally and how I was eating myself like anyway I hope that kind of explains it because I feel like I've touched base on it here and there I also don't want to like talk about it every day and harp on about it because I don't want those that do follow a plant-based vegan diet to feel like I'm trying to like degrade it or put shit on it because I'm not I also find that now as a mom my life and my focus is a lot on my children being a mother running a business Whereas if you started following me back in 20, 
2015, 2016, I was studying nutrition dietetics. I was building a business from creating recipes. And so that was where a lot of my focus and intention was. And that's why that's what I shared a lot of what I was eating. Whereas now I don't share a huge amount of food content or what I'm eating. Like I'm still creating recipes for my recipe page, but it's not like what's consuming my life. It's not my like passion at the moment or yeah, it's not what I'm doing day to day so much. I think that's a pretty good summary of a life update so far. I might vlog the rest of the day for you all. I hope to have this up before Christmas because I know it's been a while since I've posted a vlog. That's the life update and let's hang out for a daily vlog today. <laughs> We're going to work for the last, last work day before Christmas. Also in the move, I seem to have misplaced my camera charger. So I'm really hoping it's here at work because my vlog camera has just died on me and I could not find it anywhere in the apartment. Bowie, well, are you helping get out those last minute Christmas orders? Yep, express. Yeah, express. Good job, Bo Man. Yeah. In training with Ninin. Yeah. It is an exciting time because we are now stocking Tony's. We just got our first order thanks to Alex's inspiration and obsession. We'll be having to take regular stock take on it to make sure that Alex doesn't eat it all. And we can actually sell some to you guys. But how exciting. It's our first little drop. We want to see how it goes. Jimmy. <laughs> this is the festive work today. <laughs> oh, it's a good drawing. It's alright. Who's drawing Santa? <laughs> pin so Bowie can do pin the nose on Santa. Is that what you're playing, Bowie? Yeah. That looks fun. Are we all gonna have a go? Yeah, everyone's gonna have a go. Oh, but we, yay. But this this one for the what's this one for the wine there. So what do we all think about the doll that I bought Zimmy? <laughs> I'm, I'm returning it. I don't know. It just the hair is long. The eyelashes are fake, and it comes unclothed. And I don't know. I just the more I look at it, the more it creeps me out, and I think I want to return it and get her. I got her a baby instead that has like no hair and is fully clothed. Oh, oh no! Oh, what? She's Uh oh. <laughs> what do you think, Timmy? Oh, oh, oh no! Do you like it? Oh, oh, no. No. She it wants what she nice. got. Oh. You say hello. It's getting do returned. Give it, do you want to give it a quick cuddle before <laughs> Mummy <money> returns it? <laughs> quick cuddle. Oh. You say hi, Dolly. Oh. Tough oh. man. What? It's like the doll she carries around for the next three years. Draw a digger on it. You want me to draw a digger? Okay, let's do that. What am I drawing? A digger, remember? A digger, remember? Because when I was little, you draw it in the bathroom with me when I was little. Yeah, we used to draw diggers every night, dude. Yeah. And I was quite good at it, hey? Yeah. Was Daddy good at it? Nah. <laughs> What's this? That's not a digger. <laughs> the start of a digger dude. <laughs> you drive diggers Bowie. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. That's the door. What do its wheels look like? Does it have wheels? Um, that, maybe that can be the wheels. What kind of wheels does a digger have? Um, yeah, like tracks. They have tracks. What kind of tracks? Um, um black tracks. What they are they have? called? I don't know. Caterpillar tracks. Caterpillar tracks. Like dozers. Like dozers, that's right. I don't know what I'm doing here, but let's do it. Do you like this one? Yeah, that looks good. That's one arm. And then it has a little bit of a, a pivot. And he goes this way. And then what does he have on the end? <laughs> He's have a scoop. A scoop. Scoop? Is it like this? Uh, no. Is it like a bucket? No, like this. Like this. 
Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Like that? Yes. Yes. Throw it down. Throw it down and in in. Say in in. You have no Oh, who's drawing on this one? You can. What if someone else does? Why don't you ask Daddy? One's drawing this one, Dad. Oh. <laughs> and no, I sent you. Okay, who else can? Maybe you can. Maybe you could ask Emily. Oh, I can do it. Oh, you can do it. What are you drawing? See that? Yeah. That's cupboard people wheels. Wheels. <laughs> what is it? Couple wheels. <laughs> and what else we got? It's the round, and over that way, and over that way. See that? Yep. There you go. I want to draw a digger. Another digger. That's the digger arm. That's the digger arm. That's good. And, and around the circle, come around that. Can you show us how you walk? Come back to your best friend. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> All right. The journey from the car park to the unit with a lot of stuff is one thing I am not going to miss about apartment living. I had some exciting packages arrive just before I left work. I'm going to show you some of these things. This one is going to excite Alex and the kids, I think. We love free chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate in the mail? These guys are looking a little, a little smashed. So you might just put them in the fridge and eat those ones. These are cute. I'm gonna save these for Zimmy and Bowie. I think we could put these in their stockings. Really cute little minis. See that up? What is it? Little Kinder. Kinder? Kinder. Oh. Chubbies. Not one now, just a little package. I also got this delicious package from Fenton and Fenton. They have launched this Life in Color collection. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the things that they picked out for me. So firstly, we have all these beautiful towels, bath towels. Probably see the colors. They're like giving Euro summer vibes. So I've got like hand towels. What else we got? Bath mats and bath towels. Love fresh towels. Love, love, love. And there was this big tote bag in the package, which is actually so handy as a beach bag because it is massive like, look at that so that's cool and all the towels fit nicely into it then this is a sarong but i actually it's really big so i thought it was a tablecloth at first and i think i'm going to put it on our table christmas day maybe outside and make it our christmas day tablecloth it's so fun look at that print and this one kaleidoscopic set of four glasses box is beautiful. This is the glasses. So they're like multicolor. I'm going to pull one out. How cute. I think I might even pack them for Christmas Eve to have cocktails in. And they will be so beautiful at our new house. This also just arrived at work. I was hanging around at the office for these packages to arrive so i had this job to do this afternoon and i needed my package oh yay so let's put these out so this is a package from bondi boost i got some new hairstyling tools for them they are my favorite i love their tools um it's all i use on my hair this one is a mermaid wand but it's got smaller barrels so because my hair is really short at the moment, I need the, the shorter barrels, like the smaller barrels, so I can actually get in there and get the waves happening. I also really wanted to try out their curler because it has one of these. See that little... 
and that way you can curl it and clip and then just it out. My one I had didn't have this piece, so I need to put the glove on and like hold my hair to it and like sometimes it's like a little bit burny on the hands, so I really wanted one that had the clasp to make curling my hair easier because I feel like with short hair I like using a curler to get some movement through it. And then lastly, so their standard blowout brush is like my most used hair tool. I don't even really use a hair dryer anymore because I just use the blowout brush. But the blowout brush I had is bigger than this. And since my hair is really short, I found it wasn't really working. So I wanted to get out, get their new updated version that has the smaller head on it so I can blow out my hair. This is like a blow dryer and a brush in one. So it like dries your hair, but you're also brushing it and getting it through the hair. Adds nice volume. So much easier to do with yourself with one hand compared to like a blow dryer plus a hairbrush. And yeah, they'll be having a Boxing Day sale, so stay tuned. What's cooking now? It's cooking, we're cooking. Home to lunch, cooked by yours truly. Housewife. How lucky, my house husband, husband Literally. has made me lunch. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's yours. Yeah, it's mine. It doesn't really matter. What, it's what have we got out? It's nacho. Looks like a little nacho bowl. A little Miley spoon number. Very handy. <clears throat> Having these this time of year. Let me do some Christmas wrapping. My boot is full of presents. We are going to have a festive drink and do some you late night shopping. Or Aren't we? Uh, yeah, and have a snack maybe. You can. Yes. <laughs> Guys, proof she is a little grumpy bum sometimes. <laughs> Cheers, Papa. What are you doing standing there? Crazy girl. What are you doing? Cheers, 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 Love you. Cheers. Cheers, Love somebody. No. <laughs> Kids are watching Elf having a Christmas movie. We are making a really riveting dinner because we're being a little bit lazy. Kids are having tempura. What's that? Bowie's favorite food in the whole entire world, chicken nuggets. Um, Alex and I are gonna have fish. This is honestly so basic. <laughs> we have leftover mac and cheese. Corn and maybe some carrot as well. Very exciting stuff. Going down this kitchen, it is like six o'clock and almost Christmas, so CBF cooking anything extravagant. Hey, you. Oh, I know that. Oh, I'm This. this is Rocky. On your son. Shh, shh, shh. And then you pat the bum. Here you go. Hold your hand under here. And go. What do you want? Some money? No. I just wanted to meet you. I thought you might want to meet me. What? Oh, how'd you get up there? Look at that fancy dinner, guys. You have some pasta. Wow. What have you got? No pasta. No issue. Mm. And our legendary mm. corn eater. Crazy corn eater too. the corn, aren't you? Oh. I think the fork's quite useless. Fine. It's holding your neck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't really work, did it? Not like those ads where it was like. I can believe it's not like the 
the ads. Sometimes it does that. We're making Christmas cards for Bowie's daycare teachers. He's doing some beautiful drawings. They kind of look like fishies. Yeah. Do you want to draw more? Like fishies. <laughs> fishies. This is the repertoire of um, crafty things we have in this apartment. We've got one pen. Oh, we found that. Mm. And back to that you're, stuff. You're very creative, Bowie. What do you want me to say? Happy birthday. Happy birthday on Christmas. Mm. Thanks for a great year. Yes. What do I you like about Miss Sue? I like to make my bed with me. When you make my bed with me. That's nice. From Bowie. Bowie. Now we can't forget these tomorrow. How? Well, we have got to pack them in the car with us. It's a present for the teacher. So they can open it whenever they want to open it. I think they want to open it when I get them to it. <laughs> of course Can you think that. <laughs> Under the blankie. Quick. <laughs> There's Bowie. Yeah. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Say goodnight. I have a bigger hand. <laughs> Say no night. Night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh, what? Yeah, let's, not, the bed. let's not. Let's not. <laughs> the bed bikes? Don't oh. worry. So we have. How many sleeps? Tell me. You know. Oh. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Oh. Four sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> and after this should be fine. And what happens when Santa comes? He brings poo poo. He brings poo poo. Hmm. No, he doesn't. Yes, it does. I hope not. You'd be pretty disappointed if he brings poo poo. What? Put in mum? You'll be pretty disappointed if he brings poo poo. How? Because you don't want poo poo, you want presents. No, I don't want presents, I want poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see about that. <laughs> you're a poo poo, but I love you. You're not a poo poo. No, you're a poo poo, but I love you. I love you too.